afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's, it's a privilege for me to be here today to not only share my story, but also my vision for a better future for women and girls anywhere in the world through digital communication. I believe it's possible for all the people, regardless of their background, to realize their dream and goals. It only can be a cure through a unified global community walling the land and hand to change the imbalance to limited resources, including technology, that those who are living under underprivileged area can still achieve their success through hard working and education. I didn't start out wanting to change the world. I started out as a shy and curious girl in Afghanistan. As you know, a girl in Afghanistan is giving a few opportunity to satisfy her curiosity. You see, we are expected to satisfy with no vision that granted to the women in conservative societies. To be sure, there are many happy with this, but the problem is that we are not giving any chance to imagine anything else but the serving the life for the husband and the house. This could be one future life. And I was lucky enough to find a way around of this. As a child, I, heard, I always heard about rumors that would end up to change my life. I heard about a box that you can talk. You can learn about the people without meeting with them. And they don't care who you were or you are a girl. And it's called computer. This is the cool of my childhood. And when I was 16 years old, I had an opportunity to try it by myself. A friend of mine invited me to go to a cafe to try a new service called Yahoo Messenger. We went to only Intake cafe in Herat. We were the only woman there. And to my announcement, the rumor was true. First time experience of using the internet opens my eyes to the wider world, and for the first time, I realized that there are more than out than what was around of me. And right then, I became determined to somehow make the technology the center of my career. Very few women in Afghanistan have the opportunity to explore the world through the technology. Think about that for a moment. We are not talking about giving the women a chance to achieve their dream. It's about them, not giving them a chance to dream at all. Of course, society that seeks to control wants to restrict information because it's a way for them to hold the power and deny the rights and freedom. After the first time of using the internet and the cafe in Herat, I took the computer science at Herat University as my field. After the graduation, I set it out as my career. Eventually, I was able to start my own software development company. I could hire a lot of the women as bloggers and programmers. And I could become the first tech female CEOs in Afghanistan. Quite frankly, being tech CEOs anywhere in the world will introduce you some obstacles. But in Afghanistan, a place that most of the women are not supposed to work outside, the attack against of me was investigating, both personally and professionally. It was very hard for us to get a job from the men who didn't want to do business with the women. If we could even bring a client, they most often refused to pay for the work that we did for them. They put a spy on us, they followed us, and they turned in my employees and I. Sometimes I feel like it's like too much, but if I was quiet, what message I could send to other girls who wants to have a career like I did? We couldn't stop, but we had to protect it ourselves. So we decided to become as a digital entrepreneur, lower our physical address while expanding our princess online. One day, I got an invitation from the LinkedIn to joining the LinkedIn. I created an account there. And soon I realized that it is something different than other social media that I used to work. I set out to find a client, and it's lead me to find an investor who is Italian-American lives in New York City. We will not be able to meet at the beginning, but there was a trust between both sides, and it's lead me to start an amazing project together. We started the project together. We also created hundreds of jobs for the women that they could work from the home. Finally, we could find our footage and continue the work that we loved. But there were uncountless obstacles. Finally, I could realize the career that I dreamed as a girl. But I know there were millions of the girls who are outside. They are just like me. They are curious, 
but given a Norwegian to explore the world. They're wanting to know more, but they don't know what's truly possible. So I started a nonprofit organization called Digital Citizen Fund to give in access to technology and building the IT centers inside of public schools and train female students to learn a variety of jobs in technology. It's not about the job. It's about giving the woman an opportunity to gain independence, become self-sufficient, and fulfill their dreams and have a digital voice. It's always the victim of rights when I see a girl go online the time that I was in a cafe in Herat. You can see literacy changes in their face. These women and girls they have lived their entire life depending on the men. And this would open up a world that they, for the first time, realize the financial independence. This is, has the power to dramatically change how, we can, how a conservative society sees and treated a woman. I wanted to tell you a story from one of my students that I recently visited in Herat, Parwane. She was belonging to the traditional family. Her family believed that she is belonging to the home. Her uncle didn't allow her to go to the university after her graduation from high school. But she was a curious girl, just like I was. She could convince her parents, especially her mother, to go to our classes. She learned computer skill and business skill with us. She also learned how to use it in her, her real life. She had a dream. She wanted to use her new skills to support her family's business in agriculture. Because of this dream, she wanted to tell her families, all of the, her families, that she had been taking these classes, and she has an idea to support his father's business struggle by building an app. Unfortunately, her father didn't want to listen to her because he didn't believe her skills. She was a girl. After seeing Parvana's struggle, her teacher could convince her father to come to our pitch room. When, she was, when he saw and listened to her pitch, and he saw that how she, she could select it, her idea could select it among of three best students, among of hundreds of students, he believed in Parvana. He never thought that she has the, this capable or she has this talent, and she can help his business like a son. He supports wholeheartedly in continuation of her education, and also he started to invest on her a business idea to build an app to connect an agriculture products with uh, market's needs. Seeing her talents, her relatives now say, we wish we had a son like a Parvana. Seeing how she was be able to change her entire family perception of her. No matter where they live, we needed to give to we needed to give a girls a tools to imagine and pursue the life they want. It's so simple and so obvious, but it's far from reality in so many places. But it's unacceptable to see millions of the girls are being left behind of the world moving forward. Connectivity is something that we all take for granted, but it's absolutely necessary tools to put in, in our changing the world. Today, we have a program in Afghanistan and Mexico, and we want to extend it to other countries that, to make sure that all the women around the world have a voice in global conversation. It may seem a big problem, but solution is not small. It is a catalyst. Think about Parwan's story, how she came to our classes and could change her entire family uh, perception of her. Changing is radical, but the idea isn't giving everyone a chance to imagine a better life and they can build it for themselves. Thank you.